Um, slowly. I didn't ask that many questions at the beginning. I didn't know what a spinal cord injury was, and you know, they told me you're paralyzed, and I said, am I going to be able to walk again? And I remember my mom said, honey, I'm not sure, I don't know. And after that, I didn't really ask a lot of questions, and from the get-go, I didn't really understand what it meant to have a spinal cord injury and all the things that that was going to affect. And I think that actually made it easier at the beginning because I wasn't looking really far ahead in terms of how am I going to go to college and how am I going to have a family and how am I going to do all these really difficult things from a wheelchair. I just kind of in my head was like, oh, I'll be better by next summer. If not next summer, maybe the year after. I certainly will be better by the end of high school. And so it took me a long time to really internalize all the things that having a spinal cord injury was going to affect. So I think I came to that understanding really slowly. I think it was a good thing. I think part of the reason it was really difficult for my mom and my dad and my brothers is because they understood what this was going to mean and all the things that it was going to affect. Whereas I really wasn't looking that far forward and I think that helped me deal with what was going on in the immediate future and the present a lot better because I wasn't as overwhelmed by what I was going to have to face later down the road.